My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we're going to be comparing Snap-on versus Mac versus Matco. We're going to be doing a warranty review and showing you the differences between each company and the experience I had, which is really all this is. Um, your experience is going to be totally different. Any broken tools you have is going to be totally different. And uh, the response from these different companies is probably going to be different depending on situations. But I think this gives a good idea of what you might expect from these companies. And also, I think more importantly, it shows you how to warranty your tools um, if you do have broken tools. Okay, here we've got the tools that I'm going to be sending back. Here I've got this Matco uh, ratcheting wrench. So this piece just pops right out. Um, I think that there's some sort of, this, the snap ring supposed to lock in here and it's just not working. Next up, we got our Mac. This is a breaker bar and this um, end has been uh, completely decimated, so that needs to be replaced. Uh, and here is the snap-on set. So some of these are better than others. Um, here's probably the worst one. This is a Phillips, and you can see how these. this is just not really fresh anymore. Every single one of these companies, my contact was completely different. For snap-on, they provided an email, I sent them an email, and they gave me a response. With Mac, I actually filled out an online form, and they replied with an email. With Matco, you actually had to sign up on their online portal and submit the request there. So my response from each of these companies, um, my initial contact with Snap-on, I had a response within six minutes, which pretty crazy fast. Um, Mac wasn't uh, worse. It was within a 24-hour period of time. Uh, to be exact, 16 hours and 50 minutes received a response from them. Um, Matco was actually an immediate response because I logged into their online portal, I filled out the document, uh, they, the information they requested, and immediately submitted a ticket. The comments I initially received back, especially from Snap-on, was the best way to get your tool warrantied is with a tool truck. So if you have a tool truck or access to a truck, that's a preferred method, which would be the case with all these brands. These are all professional brands. Um, if you have these, if you use these, you're probably a mechanic, and you probably have a tool truck coming to you every week. Um, this online process is something that uh, I, as a homeowner, needed to use, or if you don't have a truck coming to your location, uh, this would be a good way for you. What do these tool companies require from me to get a replacement tool? Snap-on responded back and said, where did I get the tool from? Um, and then Mac and Matco required that I send a tool to them. Snap-on asked me where I purchased the tool, and my reply to them was that it was a gift, um, because it was. In fact, both Snap-on and the Mac tools were gifted to me actually in the state that I sent them in for warranty. After I informed Snap-on that it was gifted, they again responded in crazy fast time. 10 minutes response time on that email. I sent them an email, they sent it one back in 10 minutes. Their response this time was, can you confirm the quantity? And, and they said, one question mark. And my response was no. And I had four screwdrivers that needed to be warrantied and I gave them the model numbers. In record time, Snap-on responded. This time, 17 minutes. We are sending you the replacement tools. Please do not dispose of your broken tool until you have received the replacements. This process will take seven to 10 business days. Boom, awesome, easy peasy. So where are we at in the process with Mac and Matco? Remember, they requested that I actually send them in a package. So I was delaying this and I still needed to go to the UPS store to send those tools off. Um, so Snap-on has already responded, already has a tool in the mail. When I haven't even shipped these back, to the other two. I finally shipped these off on December 26th um, to both Matco and Mac, and they received them on December 30th. Okay, here we're looking at Mac tools. So again, we've got a shipping address, allow two to three weeks for processing and replacement. So they want you to send in the items to this address and they will be evaluated and accepted under their warranty. All of these are gonna want, what, what it's asking here, a list of tools that you're returning using item numbers or a description of the tool, and then obviously your information your name, your address, your phone number, and then here at the bottom, we've got those product changes, basically saying, um, you know, hey, we might have updated this tool, so you might get the updated version or a different iteration of the same tool. So once you registered the tool, um, they gave you this printout. You clicked on this and you just printed it, and it's got all of this information. So this I can drop in my package with it, and it knows what my authorization number here, I've got it covered up, and, and you can see here where it's blue, that's where I click the link, and I could get my return packing list and the printout mailing labels and it's ready to go. So you filled out their form and then it basically just made it easy to read, easy to print. They're not having to deal with reading people's 
uh, handwriting or anything like that, and I will be sending it to this address. Well, it's been about a week since my email correspondence with Snap-on, and uh, these were the first tools to arrive. Very quick, very happy and pleased with the responsiveness, and um, you know, other tool companies said it was going to take two to three weeks, I believe. I did not receive any updates or correspondence from Mac. Um, they simply took the old tool and sent me a new tool, and I received it 10 days later. Big thanks to James who packaged this. Let's open it up. So Mac wins second place as far as shipping time. We'll see what we got. And indeed, we've got a brand new breaker bar here. This is really heavy. And unfortunately, this is where things got disappointing for me over and over and over again. Waited 10 days, got my tool from Mac. I sent an email to Matco. Basically said, hey, where's my tool at? Sent this in. Uh, you guys had it on the 30th. Haven't heard back. Your status on your website says pending. And their response was, we are currently running three to four weeks on exchanges. Please allow until the end of January before receiving your item. And in fact, I did that. I waited till the end of January. And on February 3rd, I sent them another email. Uh, this time, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more frustrated, and told them how I felt and that I was disappointed in their service. And then I finally, heard back from them two days later on uh, what their plan was or their intent was to do with this warranty item. And we'll go ahead and show you that now. I should mention on their website, it still shows pending, which is a little bit odd to me. Not sure if they're gonna fix that, but I have got their warranty item. And, and the big winner here, I'm being sarcastic, you can't tell. The big winner here is Matco. This is their tool replacement. This is a warranty certificate. I've uh, crossed out my name and address information here, and they're also their number. Um, you can see here they valued that tool at uh, $42.95. So, um, I, I didn't really want a piece of paper. Um, I would have rather had a tool. What other tools did we ask for? Here's our Snap-on set. Sent me seven days later. And in fact, I still have the original set. Here's those tools that I warrantied. Like I said, I, I wouldn't feel honest sending these in for warranty again. That's not how the system works. That's not what it's designed for. Um, they wanted me to dispose of these. Um, and I want to do some sort of epoxy project because that would make them not usable for their uh, intended purpose. And um, make me feel good that they're not going to go um, into the warranty system again. Okay, I'm getting, getting distracted here showing off my new tools. I'm excited. Let's keep going down my list here. I printed these off, got it in an Excel sheet. Um, just kind of how the process went for me. I didn't even add up Matco. Matco took like a month and a half, let's just be honest. Um, Mac, uh, Mac took 10 days, Snap-on took seven days. So what was our final result here? Um, not what I expected for the expected winner. Uh, very easy to determine the winner for second and third place in the situation. Um, Snap-on not only did not require that I send them off, so that didn't cost me any money, um, but they sent me my tools, uh, no questions asked, seven days later. If I was working as a mechanic, I'd be happy about that. Within seven days, I had my tools, I was back to work. Um, Mac wasn't much worse. They were 10 days, um, but I did have to pay for shipping. And Mac was absolutely the worst. Um, they were not responsive, they took them forever. And at the end, I got a paper certificate that really means nothing to me. And I'll go into the value of these items now. So, the value of the Snap-on screwdrivers. Stubby here, 1260. These two screwdrivers, have a value of 20.85 each. This larger number two screwdriver has a value of 26.25 for a total of 80.25. So basically, the value from Snap-on, $80, no shipping deducted. Mac, we got the breaker bar with an estimated value of 75.99. So about the same value as the Snap-on tools. However, with shipping and the bubble meller, we're about $15, $16 for a now total of $60 value. Not horrible especially when you compare it to Matco. Can you, can you tell I'm bitter about this? I'm pretty bitter. I'm actually, was a loyal Matco fan. Matco sent their, uh, their piece of paper worth uh, a little over $40. Uh, to buy a new tool on their website is $27.15. Now this is not the same. This is just a standard ratcheting wrench. I had a fancy one. And I say had because I no longer have it because they now have the 15 millimeter that's in a set of eight to 19 millimeters. So here's the 16. See how this has the flex handle? I wouldn't buy these by the way. That They're cool, they feel great, but they don't fit in as many places. Uh, 
this would be like a second or a third wrench set, not not a first or a second. I say second or third, third or fourth, you know what I mean. Paper certificate to buy the wrong tool to replace the old one. So the total with tax for that $27 comes out to be $38. Then you take the $13.55 off for shipping and we're at a negative $9.42. So even if I buy that replacement tool, I'm in the whole $10 just to get back to even. Is that right? That literally cost me money? Yeah, I think that's that's right. I, if I do the math right there. So Snap-on gave me $80 worth of stuff in exchange. Well, not even exchange. I still have those other screwdrivers. Mac gave me $60 worth of value. I sent them my stuff. They sent me theirs. We're good. And I sent Mac go my thing and they sent me a piece of paper. And uh, it's going to cost me $10 to uh, get that tool back. I'm sorry, I'm being negative. I'm being sarcastic, I'm being negative. So what did you learn from this? I certainly learned, um, what did I learn? Snap-on is awesome. I've never been a Snap-on fan. I hate stupid expensive stuff, honestly. <laughs> Look at my channel name, Thrifty Garage. Like I said, most of them are gifts. I splurged on the Matco set and I'm disappointed. Now I've got a broken up set and no way to fix it, no way to replace it. To purchase a new set, uh, similar to what I had, would be $250. Uh, I did go dig up an old email receipt and I paid half of that 10 years ago on a 50% off student discount. My order total was $137.30, including shipping. Looking back on this email, I found some interesting information. Um, these items were actually on back order at that time. So uh, not a very popular item, I'm sure, and I don't think there's many of these floating around. Um, again, this is a 10-year-old set and uh, this is what we've got. That 15 millimeter has been used literally less than half a dozen times, honestly. Um, I just don't use 15s very out much. So, very disappointing in Matco. Um, they had a crappy, crappy tool and, and ultimately a crappy warranty process with that tool specifically. So, hopefully the experience is different. Hopefully this is not the normal, um, but pretty clear. Winners, Snap-on's the winner, Max. Really a close second. Well, thanks for watching this Thrifty Garage video. I hope it's been informative and helpful for you. Uh, if not, just uh, educational or enjoyable, entertaining at the least. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, obviously hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below and I'll try to get back to those. Uh, I try to check those daily, uh, as well as uh, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you around as one of our members or our channel and um, be part of the group here. Um, share the video if you think uh, you know someone that might enjoy it. Um, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage. And with the wonders of YouTube, I will be able to send this off and receive this in the next two, three, four weeks. And then uh, we'll be back and uh, share my experience on the back end of this. So uh, stick around for the rest of the video.